Another stunt, yet again, has been pulled by another major company. And this time, you're not even going to believe it because it's regarding protesting ice cream. So, if you haven't thought the left has gone completely mad, you might just change your mind after watching this video and listening to the story. To start out, Fox News released an article yesterday, and this article was titled Ben and Jerry Slams Trump Administration with New Pecan Resist Ice Cream Flavor. When I read through this article, I had to double, triple check what I was reading, just to make sure that everything was clear, because this was really, really weird. I've never seen something like a dessert company go out of their way to try to get involved with politics, so I guess in 2018, anything can happen. So this is actually not a new flavor. This flavor has been around for a while, but it was just rebranded and changed to Pecan Resist so that they could just have like a little name change. On Tuesday, the company put out a dramatic statement released to the media and the public regarding their decision making on the new flavor change. The statement that was released to the public pretty much explains that Ben & Jerry's is fed up with Trump. They're dumb of Trump's policies that he has specifically regarding immigration and refugee rights and that they state that that does not align with their core values as a company. It's not too long until the election is right around the corner, so I wouldn't really be too surprised if this actually was a stunt for the purpose of increasing voting numbers for the midterm elections. Pretty soon, I'm not even going to be able to go to the grocery store without seeing propaganda. Like seriously, I'm going to go to the grocery store one day, and I'm going to look and I'm going to see that resist ice cream, I'm going to go get some cereal, and I'm going to see some propaganda on that, propaganda slapped on maybe the produce aisle, I mean, geez, where does it stop? In all seriousness though, people are losing their minds, even like the CEOs, they're losing their minds especially. We've seen Starbucks, uh, there's been Hulu. We've had Nike, and now all of a sudden, this ice cream thing. I'm tired of boycotting business after business, but at the same time, I will not tolerate this radical behavior, whether it's coming from the left or if it's coming from the right. I'm not dealing with this anymore. Going back to Ben & Jerry's, like I said earlier, Ben & Jerry's, they didn't really invent this new flavor pecan resist. It's always been a flavor. It was just called New York Super Fudge. So additionally, with this name change, they added a little message on the side of the little ice cream carton. Welcome to the resistance. The message reads, together, pecan resist. We honor and stand with women, people of color, immigrants, and the millions of activists and allies that are courageously resisting President Trump's attacks on our core values. The message closes with, we celebrate with diversity in our glorious nation and raise our spoons in solidarity to all Americans. Having said that, I wanted to discuss another flavor that Ben & Jerry's actually had in the past that took another political stance, so let's talk about that. In 2015, Ben and Jerry celebrated in behalf of legalizing same-sex marriage. So they had a chocolate chip cookie dough flavored ice cream, and they renamed that ice cream to I Do I Do. Shortly a year later, in 2016, the company's co-founders Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield were actually arrested in the U.S. Capitol in Washington. You know what? Ben and Jerry's can do whatever they please as a company. They can spread whatever message that they want. But I think having ice cream starting to involve politics and messages that they spread is not a good idea. Because a lot of people in America have different opinions. So when you start doing that with something as simple as like a dessert, then there goes the majority, if not all, of the conservative base that you had a lot of the independents, and then classical liberals, they're probably going to skip out too. I believe after this, Ben & Jerry's is just one more PR move away from completely destroying their own company. After all this is over, they really could have their reputation ruined, they could have millions of dollars lost, we just kind of have to see how this all plays out. But that's just my opinion on this subject and matter. So if you have any different opinions, um, yeah, leave like a comment or tell me what you're thinking.
Okay, well, it looks like I'm going to wrap up this video for right now, but stay tuned for more videos. I'm definitely going to have a lot more content, so it's going to be really exciting.